In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to animate between multiple images with Micro Observatory using the Shift, Blending, and Blinking tools. Okay, in order to animate between multiple images, you need to have multiple images open in JS9 4L. For my example here, I'm going to animate the phases of the moon over the course of a 12-day period. I'll use seven images of the moon for this animation, which I've already opened in JS9 4L. See? Let me click through them so you can see what I'm working with. Now, I've already processed each of these images of the moon so that they look the way I want. If you don't yet know how to process images in JS9, I recommend you watch the tutorial, How to Process a Fits Image. Okay, so that's all seven of my images of the moon, from first quarter moon to almost the third quarter moon. Maybe you notice that even though these images have been processed, the moons in each image don't line up. If we want to animate through the images, we want all the moons aligned with each other. So, we'll do that first. You'll need to open two tools in order to align your moons. The first is the Shift tool, and you'll find that under the Tools dropdown, right here, called Shift. This tool allows you to move your images up, down, left, or right with these arrows here. Every click moves the active image one pixel. The second tool is the Blending tool, and you'll find that under the Tools dropdown too, and it's listed as Blending. This tool lets us see multiple images at once, which we can use to make sure every image is aligned properly. First, we need to turn image blending on by clicking this checkbox here. Next, let's set every image in our list to screen mode, which allows us to see images through each other. I'll just skip ahead a bit. There, everything's on screen mode. Now we want to turn on the images that we want to line up. I only want to turn on two at a time. If we turn them all on, it just gets too confusing to look at. So I'll just leave this image turned on. And I'm going to keep it on the whole time because I'm going to align every other image in the list to this image. Okay, let's get started. I'll turn this image on too and start the alignment. You can see that this is the active image because it has this green border around it. Let's go back to the shift tool so that I can click this image into alignment. Don't worry about the fact that the moon appears to be different sizes in these two images. My images were taken at different times of the night and by different telescopes, so I'm not concerned about the size of the moon in my example. I mainly want to use these features to show how we can animate through the moon's phases. There, looks to me like this image is lined up with the other image. I'll turn it off and turn on the next one in the list. Now this is the active image. Notice the green border. I'll do the same thing as I did before clicking this image into alignment with the other image. There, all set. I'll turn this image off and move on to the next image and line it up like the other ones. I'm not going to make you watch me do this for every image, so let's move on to the point where all seven images are lined up. Perfect, they're all lined up. So I'll close the Shift tool because I don't need it anymore. And I'll close Blending. But before I do, I need to turn Image Blending back off. This is important. Make sure you click this box to turn Image Blending back off. Otherwise, the animation step won't work right. And before we move on, I'll quickly click through all the images so you can see that they are lined up. Okay, we're ready to animate. For this step, we'll need the blinking tool. You'll find it under the tools dropdown listed as blinking. Click on it and the blinking tool will pop up. You'll see that all of my seven images appear in the image blinking pop-up. However, they aren't always in order. If yours are out of order, it's easy to rearrange them. Just grab them and move them into the order you want. I want my images in chronological order, so I'll move them back to the way they were. There. Next, let's set the blink rate. This sets how much time each image will appear for in terms of seconds before moving on to the next image. I think I'd like each image to blink for half a second. Now we need to turn on every image we want included by clicking each of these checkboxes. And that's pretty much it. It's not a very complicated tool. Click Blink, and there you go. 
JS9 is blinking through my images of the phases of the moon. When it gets to the end of the list, it cycles back to the top and keeps going. Notice how you can see the blinking tool moving through the list here as the images blink through in JS9. If you want to take this one step further and actually create your own animated GIF with your images, there are plenty of third-party programs you can use. Just download all of your images from Micro Observatory after processing them and aligning them. I've already downloaded all of my images. See, here they are in a folder on my desktop. Then go to a website like gifmaker.me, upload all your images, set the animation speed for each image, and the program will create an animated GIF for you to download. Here again, I've already combined my images using gifmaker.me, and here's my file right here. And look at that, this GIF file is animating just like Micro Observatory was doing with the blinking tool. You can try out this tool with your own moon images grabbed from the Micro Observatory image directory, or you could try animating images of the moons of Jupiter to see them orbiting around their planet, or you could try animating a lunar eclipse over the course of three hours. There's plenty of options out there, so see what you can come up with.